Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. Today I want to cover um, two parts of something really cool. One is blending shapes and some of the reasons why I would use that node. And then the other one is solving one of the issues of blending shapes, which is like different points, point count does not work with blending shapes. And we're going to look away into a way of like solving that kind of problem. So I'm just going to create a very simple cloth simulation, which is basically one of the reasons why I would use the blend shapes. So let me um, speed through this part so you guys don't have to follow it. And we're back. So we have two different different simulations, but they use the same amount of point counts here. Um, they use the same amount of points, so we can do a blend shape to blend between both simulations. And it works like this. It works way, like for example, if you have, um, if your if your simulation isn't that crazy different, it, it works very very well. Um, so let's have a look. Something like this where it's not totally totally different. Um, so then right here we could blend between both. Oops. Let's see. Okay, so right here you can see that when we're blending between um, shapes that are not totally totally different, it works very well. Um, this is a, a good technique that you guys can use. For example, if a client has a cloth sim um, that they like two different simulations and they want to blend between them, you could use this. And then another solution that I use this a lot is if we need to for example finish the simulation in this specific cloth position i run the sim here on this side and then towards the end of the simulation i just do a blend into into the specific shape that i want the simulation to finish um now here's how this breaks if we add a subdivision to one of the um, you know one of the sims with like different point counts then our blend shapes will no longer work um so yeah that's kind of like the the gist of like the the one of the main ways that i enjoy using the blend shapes um another really interesting way of using blend shapes is for example for characters so if we have like a test um test geometry of craig here and let's just transform him to be a little bigger and i want to get rid of the shader here so for example um I use this a lot on a few, a few like animations where I have the position of the character in a very in this way, and you know I just want the hand to move a little bit or um, this dude's feet to move or something like that, right? So I want to have two different positions. So for example, we drop an all. We would have like position 
position one and position number two. So let's play with position one. Position one, let's leave it like that. And position two, let's go ahead and select some points. And I am going to grab this knee. this knee right here and let's transform the knee like that and I'm just gonna do soft transform here let's move that up a little bit and maybe we grab part of it back here transform it a little more and now let's drop down a blend shape I'm going to um, I wanted to delete the color attribute. I just don't remember where that where that is there. But I can turn it off with my attribute delete as well. And then here's here's how that works. Like same point count geometry. Um, it can transform um, certain things. So like it works decently well for some things like i use this a lot for like moving fingers a little bit or like moving the neck of a character or like just subtle changes where it's not something ex extremely dramatic um it works very well but what if you had like completely different geometry characters that you wanted to blend between them um i'll show you guys how to do that on part two all right guys i hope you enjoyed and i'll be back with more